Mega Man 1 is a very primitive game. This game doesn't have any sliding, charge shots, no rush coil, no E-Tank. Compared to future games like Mega Man 4 or even Mega Man X, this game is very primitive. But if you look deeper in Mega Man 1, it's actually a really unique game that stands out from the rest. You see, there are so many glitches and cool tech that people use in speedrunning. But this game also has game-breaking glitches, and the glitches are something I've never seen before. And it's honestly worth making a video on and documenting. But yeah, there's a variety of different glitches in this game, and I want to cover a lot of minor glitches, and of course some game-breaking bugs as well. Something very interesting is that these glitches actually work in the Legacy Collection, which is what I'm playing on. I do also want to throw in some tips and tricks for bosses, and show you guys the boss order that I play. So I always start off on Cutman stage. Cutman is a very easy boss, and I think his blade ability is one of the best power-ups in the game. And with that being said, there's actually a couple of glitches on this stage. So in this part of the stage, you can actually skip to the bottom of the staircase. To do this glitch, you just need to stand on top of this ladder and jump. If you do it right, you'll teleport to the bottom, and you can go down from there. It's a very fun glitch that saves you some time. Now this is a pretty pointless glitch, but it's pretty funny. If you get hit right before you go through the boss door, you will actually fall inside a block. Now, as I said, this is really pointless. Uh, it does hinder you, but you can jump out of it. Or if you get hit, you'll get teleported out of the block. All right, so once you beat Cutman, we're gonna play on a Lechman stage. A Lechman is the most vital stage in the game. His stage has the most important power up in the game, which is the magnet. Now, typically you need Gutsman's ability to grab the magnet, but there is a glitch that you can perform where you can get the magnet without any power up at all. And that's what we're going to do. And as a tip, you guys should use Cutman's ability against the enemies in a Lechman stage, and of course it's also Lechman's weakness. Alright, so now that we're at the magnet, what you want to do is stand on top of the ladder on the right side, shoot and press down at the same time, and then press up and jump. Now it is frame perfect, and I had a lot of trouble doing it, so I started button mashing and it actually worked. But basically, you're going to teleport on the bottom left side of the map, so what you need to do next is jump and at your highest point, press right on the D-pad. And if you time it perfectly, you will teleport right next to the magnet. So it took me a lot of tries to do this. Once you've done that, just slowly tap left on the D-pad and go very slowly until you grab the magnet. As soon as you get the magnet, jump. Once you teleport back, try to get yourself out of the wall. Make sure you do this perfectly or your character will get stuck. So yeah, that's the magnet glitch. A lot of speedrunners use this glitch to save some time. It's a really fun glitch, but it takes a lot of practice. This isn't much of a glitch since items respawn, but it is worth noting. If you use all the magnet and come back, the magnet actually respawns. And if you grab the magnet again, it refills your bar. Alright, so this last glitch is really pointless, so I'll go ahead and brush over it pretty quickly. So there are two other ladders that are on the top of the screen. Go very slightly up the left ladder and hold down on the D-pad. If you do this correctly, Mega Man will start spinning by himself. It's a very pointless glitch. Now this is where things get really interesting. We're going to go to Iceman's stage. Iceman's weakness is the electric that we got from Aleckman. I also highly recommend using Aleckman's power up on this stage. It kills all the enemies in one shot and the power up shoots in multiple directions. In my opinion, this is the most powerful attack in the game. Now it's for the game breaking bug. In the beginning of the stage, there is a water portion. Once you pass that, get to this really high platform right here. Make sure to set a safe state if you can, because this glitch can actually crash your game. But basically, if you jump in the air and spam left and right on the D-pad, you can actually break the game. Sometimes the game will spawn like glitch textures. Sometimes your game will freeze. Sometimes your game can even hard reset. And right here, it actually made me beat the boss. So I selected Cutman stage, and the textures got completely broken. What the hell? Oh, I have his power up. Nice. What the hell? Oh. Oh, there we go. You honestly have no idea what's going to happen whenever you do this glitch. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god.
Going back to actually playing the game, unfortunately we made it to the worst part of Iceman stage, but thankfully with the help of the magnet power up, we don't need to worry about disappearing blocks. Just use the magnet ability and place your own platforms to bypass this portion. So yeah, just do this. The disappearing blocks suck. Now that we made it to Iceman stage, I want to show you guys the most notorious glitch in the game. If you press select on the NES, it will pause the game, but if you're playing on the Legacy Collection like me, press the right bumper and it will pause the game. So once we shoot at Iceman and we start spamming the pause button, if you time it correctly, it will start pause buffering and will attack him constantly. So you can just do this on the Yellow Devil and beat him in like 5 seconds. It's awesome. Okay, so I found this video from back in 2006, but basically this guy beat the Yellow devil with one shot or as he calls it the scary rock monster so yeah let's check this out and he's dead yeah he died in like five seconds yo it turns out this guy posted a fortnite video last month that is awesome I want to show you guys the zip glitch. This is a tech that speedrunners use to get through levels fast. A really easy stage to practice this on is on Fireman stage. Fireman is also weak to ice, so if you guys are doing the boss order that I did in this video, go ahead and fight boss man. As soon as you spawn in Fireman stage, go up to this ladder and place and hold a magnet like how I do right here. Try to jump on the magnet while pressing up on the d-pad at the same time and you will zip across the map. Now you can zip in pretty much all of the stages, however I think Fireman stage is the easiest to practice this on. I was only able to zip a few times, so I don't have that many clips to show you guys, but it is honestly a really useful glitch. And yeah, Fireman is a really tough boss, but luckily for us, we can just pause buffer and kill him instantly, which is perfect. Bombman is weak to fire, so I always pick him next. I don't have much to say about Bombman's stage. I tried doing some ladder and zip glitches in Bombman's stage, but I wasn't able to do anything cool on this stage, so I'll just skip to the boss fight. Go on top of the ladder and hug the right side of the wall. If you do that, none of the enemies will hit you. And yeah, don't move and you won't get hit. And of course we'll just do some pause buffering. And Bombman is dead. He's actually a really easy boss, so I went ahead and fought him legit. So Getsman is weak to Bombman's ability, but the bomb is just so bad. You can't really detonate the bomb yourself, you just have to wait for it to explode and hope that the bomb can reach Gutsman, which it never does. So I recommend just using the buster, but here we are against Gutsman. Now Gutsman will jump around and he will stun you once he lands. So what you need to do is jump right before he lands and avoid any block they try to throw at you at the same time. It will take a lot of time to get used to, but once you get enough practice you can get the rhythm down. And that brings us off to the Wily Castle. It shouldn't be too bad until the devil himself appears. There is this really tough platforming section that is really tight. I hate this part so much man. Be sure to also use the magnet through the stages. The magnet helps you tremendously with platforming, so be sure to utilize it. Now there is a portion of the stage that actually requires the magnet to get across the ladder, so be sure to save enough magnet for that. And now we have the yellow devil himself. Equip the electric, try to avoid the formation as much as possible, shoot him and start pause buffering, and hit him as much as you can. The sooner you kill him the better. But yeah, that brings us to stage 2. I recommend using the electric ability as much as you can. It'll help you a lot with dealing with the enemies. But yeah, this stage is really weird. You basically fall through random parts of the floor and fight the bosses. But just go ahead and use your weaknesses and you'll be fine. I highly encourage you guys to take your time with platforming and everything like that. This game doesn't have a timer. Unless you're speedrunning, there's no rush. And there's also a weapon power up up this ladder. Don't do what I did right here. I made sure to kill off those enemies before going up the ladder. I was an idiot and got lucky surviving that. Okay, this is a really hard boss. Basically, you're going to fight a clone of yourself. The clone copies your abilities, so the electric might be very dangerous. So I started messing around with the fire power up and stuff like that. I started to pause buffering with the fire power up. It actually worked really well for me. I barely survived it though. Very dangerous boss. Stage 3 of the Wily Castle didn't have much going on. I just used the electric as always. 
Unfortunately, I ran out of electric, so I used my buster instead. But yeah, once you make it to the boss, use Gutsman's power up and throw the blocks at them. Couldn't really find a feasible way of avoiding them with how large of a hitbox they had. So I just stuck in the corner and started spam shooting. Just keep shooting them, basically. There's not a whole lot of strategy with this boss fight. Pretty boring boss, honestly. And now we're finally on the final one. The spawn is a huge trap. There's enemies that spawn. I recommend placing a magnet instead of platforming and just go up the ladder, shoot it as soon as you can so the enemies can't attack you. You can die really easily right here, so be careful. If you don't use the magnet, you have to time your jump perfectly. There is also something major that you guys want to pick up right here. Wait for the elevator to come back. Make sure it's going right. Drop down on this ninja star item. The ninja star refills your energy on all of your power-ups, so be sure to pick it up. Just be very careful with the elevator. After that, you have to fight some old bosses again. Just use their weaknesses. The bosses should be easy now that you have all of your power-ups refilled. So yeah, just go through them, go through the elevator, and you will eventually make it to Dr. Wily. Now, Dr. Wily has two phases. His first phase is weak to fire, and you can also pause buffer. Alright, his second phase doesn't have any weakness, but I recommend using the electric as it is the strongest. And yeah, just pause buffer once again. Honestly, I think the yellow devil is the hardest boss out of the Wily Castle bosses, so he shouldn't be that big of a deal. And you have beaten the game. Alright, now we got the credits. I actually really like the credits. I love the upbeat music and the and the daytime changing in the background. Honestly, Mega Man 1 isn't that special, but but because it has some game-breaking bugs and some really fun glitches for speedrunning, it actually makes for a really fun game. Even though I highly prefer Mega Man X, I would highly recommend you guys to play this game. It's really fun to break this game, and it's a great speedrun game, so. And when it comes to retro games, that's really all that you can ask for.